All right, hi guys, Agam here, back below Fujians, and welcome to another day to day video. Just like you saw last year, I am here with Connor. Hope you're well, pal. Oh, fine. So, as always, just like we did with the snacks last year, we try them all and then we unnatty the win at the end and what we recommend to you guys. So, do you want to start with the edible snacks or the soft drinks? Uh, do you want to start with the soft drinks? Soft drinks, okay. And I will just grab my bottle opener for you. As you guys may have seen on my birthday, I got this Supreme Lanyard bottle opener here. So, yeah, pineapple or strawberry? Go, go, pineapple? Pineapple piña, as Spanish for pineapple, and fresa, Spanish for strawberry. Yeah. Okay. For you, Mr. Richie. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll save that. Now, of course, yellowy uh, doesn't look. Remember the Haritos bottles from last year? It's not that much oh, different, yeah. is it? Yeah, looks yeah. the same. Salute. Salute. Happy day to death. Oh, yeah. oh, that's nice. That is nice. Is it better than the Haritos one, however? Both the same, to be honest. But that, that is nicer. But this one tastes a bit more. You know what the thing is, Haritos? That's more. It's organic. It's the real thing. Mm. This is just flavour and chemicals. Yeah. But, I mean, where's the ingredients? Uh, it is. Doesn't actually say. Um, it's that. Yeah, it's that label there. Oh, it's right. different in the US because they got the US labels here. Right, it's, um, right. it's the flavor and um. So, so it's just going to be. You know what? To be honest, pal. Um, I hate to kind of break it to you, but it's just going to be flavoring, guys. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. It's a bit muddy here today. Oh, it's right. Should be all right. right. It's just. Nice. And the weather's not the best, but I still wanted to get this video for the Day of the Dead. Um, compared to the Haritos one, guys, um, I'm not enjoying this one as much. It's still decent, but yeah. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe these tackies will be better. Who knows? But anyway. So let's crack this strawberry one open now. It's quite solid. Uh, oh, you good. just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very uh, red, isn't it? It's red. It looks like blood. <laughs> yeah. It just looks like straight up syrup. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? Let's give it a go. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. you, can taste, you can really taste the strawberry. Deepen. You know what? I I know the Haritos one that I tried last year with Christian yeah. and Alex is organic. I know it's all chemically and stuff and Coca-Cola yeah. aren't always as authentic, but and some people say that Coca-Cola's some of Coca-Cola's recipes have been Ooh. ruined. Oh, no. This one's actually pretty yeah. decent. I it's... mean, what what do you think, uh, Do you think the Haritos bottles are better or do you think this one's uh... I don't know, I like them both to be honest, but I think I think, um, I like them both, but I think the bleach one's better. Mm. Yeah, I'm with Haritos because they're organic, they're natural, they're authentic. Yeah. It's the real thing. Yeah, it's not just syrups and flavorings. Like, mm. I know, now, I'll tell you this, guys. I know with the Haritos, however, I know there's one called Jamaica, which is, um, you might be familiar with one where they use hibiscus syrup to make it. That might be a bit syrupy. Maybe some of you guys see Haritos that way, but I like the fact, like I said last year her, with the Haritos extravaganza with Joel, Louis, Annabelle, and the rest of the team was there. Uh, Connor here, Nathan, etc. Et I like the fact that Haritos are as authentic, as natural, as organic as possible compared to other drinks like Coca Cola or, well, I can't say Coca Cola family, they're part of the Coca Cola company. No, something. I'll think about it. Let's get to the uh, edible snacks now and I'll crack them all straight away and then we'll decide a winner now let's see here uh, so oh. got the uh, guacamole 
We've got crunchy fajita, which they look to uh, like some red jalapeno peppers or some chili there. And they're all part of Barcel. Barcel, says there. And Takis have always been like iconic for like uh, Mexican snacks and all, and they're really terrific at the end of the day. I'd say we'll just crack open one. First, should we just come in? You want to crack open that one? Okay. Um, so, pick these up one. Uh, yeah, I'll just put that back in uh, my bag. Because yeah. it's pretty the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crap, it's a bit... So, which one first? Um, help yourselves, just go for it straight away. Yeah, let's go with the jalapeno. Um, I think that's how thin it is. It's not even spicy. No. This one wouldn't be. It says fajita. Oh, right. You've had fajitas before, haven't you? Yes. Remember uh, one time we got you a uh, veggie fajitas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you remember back at Chiquitos? Oh, yes. All right. If you guys don't know what Chiquitos is, to those guys. One of the most popular Mexican restaurants in the UK is called Chiquitos. They're not too pricey. Um, they're kind of in the middle. They're not too cheap. They're not too pricey. They're kind of in the middle for an average, you know, restaurant. Mm. They're very good. They're pretty good quality. I've been going there for years. And if you want like proper, authentic Mexican food, that's the place you got to go to. Oh, and we've been plenty of times, haven't we? Oh yeah, it's, it's really nice. That's nice. That's nice. Peanuts. Let's try the peanuts. Probably really spicy. No, just sweet, but these are actually really good. Alright, so which one? Those two are actually good, but I'm not trying the guacamole. Those are really nice. So they're nice and that hot as well. They are good, aren't they? Oh, they are. I can't even taste the hot, it's the same that's hot, it's definitely not hot. No. You know what the thing is, some people out there have very sensitive taste buds, you know. Yeah. You know how silly this is? There are people out there, right? Like, I'll tell you one thing, Alia hates Nando's. My god. She hates Nando's, she says they're too spicy, she has like some sensitive taste buds. Technically speaking, it is kind of disappointing because Nando's these days isn't actually said to be... It's not too damn spicy. Maybe it's got a teenty tiny little kick, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Usually I go for the mega hot burger there. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not actually hot these days. You know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. just it's just the recipe. It's just the taste, oh, yeah, isn't it? You know. Um, if you've got someone out there like who has sensitive taste buds, like... Some people out there hate ginger ale. Some people out there hate ginger beer or ginger ale, they say it's too strong. You know what I mean? That's how sensitive some people can be about snacks like that. Some people don't, some of my pals don't like the pumpkin frappuccino, like you guys saw, the pumpkin cheesecake frappuccino I made on one of my previous videos. Some of my pals don't like it, they say it's too strong, because I will tell you this guys, with the pumpkin recipe at Starbucks, sorry about that, that was my phone, with the, the pumpkin recipe at Starbucks, they do use a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg powder to make their snacks or like chopped up nutmeg bits that they chop in the mm. back of their kitchen. So that's one way. So if it's anything, anything considered strong, whether it's Nando's hot sauce or maybe Taco Bell hot sauce or these or the pumpkin frappuccino from Starbucks or ginger ale or ginger beer, you know. Yeah, cool. But I tell you what, Tried all these now. Now we've got to find a winner. So, this one. Now, I'm not too fond of soft drinks. They're decent. They're right, but they not include the, the guacamole ones are boring to me. They're deep. They're nice, but they're just boring. I want it. Um, yeah, they are nice, but not. not it's kind of boring. Winner. Yeah. No, no. You know, yeah, you know what, if we had like some sour cream or some hot sauce to yeah. go with that, and you know what I mean, some melted cheese, they would be terrific, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, 
That, that would be the way if they had the floor. Yeah, you gotta get a bowl and throw a load of topping oh, on. Then it, that would have been the best, wouldn't yeah. it? So it's out of these two, isn't it? Alright, now, the fajita ones are great. The peanuts are just simple. Like, you know, like if you go to a bar, right? Yeah. If you go to like a bar, like a nice bar, and then they only have those, they're just like an appetizer. Yeah. So... But I think. My opinion, guys, if you want the real deal, if you want an actual snack to enjoy your pals, I wouldn't mind putting these, like, in an oven or mm. over a grill or something. Get some melted cheese, some toppings, oh, some course. guacamole. You know what I mean? Yeah. These would actually be good with some melted cheese, some jalapeno, yeah. chili, onions, um, maybe some beef strips, um, chicken, beef, lamb, whatever. Yeah, of course. So I think, if you're going to agree with me on this, the Crunchy Peters, will you agree with me on that? Probably would. Um, unless you wanted to go with those and then it's a tie and then we let these guys vote. Um, do you want to announce the final winner with these or do you want to do a vote in? What do you prefer? It's really hard to decide. But I like both of them, but I have to agree with you with this one. The fajitas? Yeah. Alright, that settles it, guys. Takis, crunchy fajitas have won the video today. They are terrific. They're not too damn okay. over the top, they're just right. They're just right, oh, they and they're terrific, yeah. And whatever you have these with, um, if you have them, whatever you'd have these with, if you put them in a fajita, burgers, um, mm. nacho cheese, whatever you want to do with these, you decide. But as always, if you guys disagree, if you think the Takis hot nuts, or any of these Mexican snacks, or any type of Mexican snack out there in the world is better, do comment down below or take me on social media. I will leave his username down below in the description box as well. If you want to see a secret alternatives video, um if i can upload it at least tomorrow or day after. next year oh well day to day's not till next year now isn't it yes. if i can do it at least later this week another video i'm willing to because i have received so much packages lately in the mail for global food gems if i can do one before the end of the week or next year do give us like as demand and i'll try and do a sequel alternative and yeah, like any of those snacks, you comment down below. I'll try my best to do that sequel alternative for you guys. Feel free to share with your pals as well so they don't miss out. But if you guys want to stay up to date, or you can hit subscribe, the notification bell, or follow me or him or the rest of the team on social media. Their usernames are in the more busier videos or the ones they at least take part in. Um, just like how Connor, you took part in the Haritos video, didn't you? That's right. Yes. Haritos, yeah. And that's one of the popular videos and Mexican snacks. And it's the Day of the Dead. So oh, Connor, it is. So I tell you what, in Spanish, Feliz Dia de los Muertos is Spanish for Happy Day of the Dead. And we'll see you soon. Peace out. And in Spanish, see you later is Hasta Luego. So you want to say Hasta Luego to the guys? Yeah, uh, if I pronounce it right. Uh, hasta Luego. Hasta Luego. Spot on. Nice one, man. Nice. Hasta Luego. Peace out. Happy Day of the Dead, guys.